president of Generation Entertainment, Matt and Lori Roach. What a pleasure. Welcome to Praise the Lord program tonight. We have a very, very, very special program designed for you tonight, and it's going to be wonderful. Please stay tuned. We have wonderful guests coming up. We have prayer partners available for you right now, and this program is designed to come right into your home yes. and minister uh, to you, and it's going to be a wonderful night. We have Bishop Charles Blake with us tonight, as you heard it's in the open. It's been a long time. <laughs> We've been Mr. Long. Todd Bridges is here, and his pastor. It's just going to be, it's just... We have a wonderful, a wonderful studio audience. Studio. There are people from West Virginia and from Florida and from all over the United States. Hi! And a little boy up there waving. <laughs> Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. And uh, Pastor Ernest Johnson is, of course, with, uh, pa with Todd Bridges. And uh, singing for us tonight is none other than Sandy Petty. I would like Bishop Blake, please, to come up. What a pleasure to have him on the broadcast tonight. Please, right here next to me. And we would love you to uh, help us welcome the presence of the Lord into this program. Such I'd a pleasure. Be happy to. Such a pleasure to have you here today. Joy to be here. Amen. Doesn't oh, no man. plane. Just goodness. When I heard her practicing, I thought it was fake. I yeah, know. I really. I you do. Yeah. Someone's in there tweaking. <laughs> Todd said to me just a second ago, he said, I used to sing like that, but then I got to doing drugs. <laughs> and lost uh, my voice. <laughs> we have uh, with funny. us. <laughs> Uh, Pastor Ernest Johnson. Yay! And he he brought his own uh, cheering section yeah. with him, and uh, accompanying him is Mr. Todd Bridges. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we are going to get into uh, lots of stuff. Let me just give a brief. You know, they, they, okay. they do these card yeah, things. So. Do you want to read your own? No, you go okay, ahead. I'll I'll do, I'll do. <laughs> okay, well, let me start with Pastor. Enough about uh, me. From card <laughs> yeah, enough about me. Let's talk about you. <laughs> what do you think about me? <laughs> well. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Pastor Phil Muncy, for that joke. <laughs> we give him all the credit and that. glory for that. Uh, Pastor Ernest Johnson is from Carson, California. Pastor of... Jesus, Jesus is the, the answer, answer that ministries. Is right. And that didn't maybe come from maybe, you know, the song uh, from Andre. No. No? No. Because Did I, you predate Andre? No. Uh, actually, no. Andre, uh, Andre Krause was before me. That song came out before my time. Yeah. But when God gave me the vision, he said, because our, our church used to be called Wilderness Table. So he said, come out of the wilderness and let the world know that Jesus is the answer. Cool. And after that, after he brought us out. <laughs> That's right. You can so, just say anything in that class. Right. Oh, that? So, so, so after he brought us out, uh, then I discovered the song. And, you know, we've had a television show like 14 years. Yeah. And so that was the song that became our theme song. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, you didn't have to get that technical, but I'm glad you did. That's fine. Uh, Praise the Lord. And <laughs> 1984. Since 1984, founder of Rush Bible Conference right. and Outreach. Yes. Rush stands for? Rush, Rush until something happens. There it is. <laughs> Travels extensively, world evangelism, youth outreach programs. And in fact, we're going to talk about linking up the Todd Bridges uh, Center yes. Youth, yes. What is youth, the Foundation. Foundation. youth Foundation right. with an organization that yours truly has been uh, voted as the new president right. of Kids Against Crime, uh -huh. uh, and that's a TV program that I've produced for a long time. But, but enough right. about you. Yeah, enough about We have Todd Bridges here, man. <laughs> okay. I've Todd. watched him for years. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? How many of you we guys watch did. different strokes? I watch that now, all the time. Now, now if, see? If I hadn't been watching me, it would have been a lot better. That's right. <laughs> Oh, man. And he has a beautiful wife sitting over there that's yeah. like beautiful six, pregnant wife. six months yes. pregnant. Yeah. That's right. She came in the bathroom and she goes, I just can't get comfortable. I thought, like, girl, you just wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you about three months. Okay. <laughs> Let me finish. Okay, here's okay. Todd. Okay, Todd Bridges yeah. from Southern California right here. Yeah. That's right. Right here in Southern California. Hey. One of the greatest treasures of all times, word of a one of the greatest child actors of all times, and we all agree upon that. He was on 
with over 250 <laughs> television commercials, four television series, uh -huh. and a, a historical. Is Roots still the number one actually, mini series of all yeah, time? Yeah, and Roots actually just is starting to come back on again, I think, again. Really? Yeah, my you know, friend saw my name on the list. It's really? pretty funny. I mean, I mean, I mean, I tell you, the funny part about it was I didn't you know get any, residuals. Yeah, but I didn't know anything oh, about cool. racism until until I did Roots. Really? Yeah. See, where <laughs> that's where I was from was from San Francisco, a very metropolitan city. Yeah. Right. So we, I didn't know anything. Everybody lived in our neighborhood, and we were all just friends. How yeah. old were you? Uh, uh, I think I was ten when I did that. Okay. And then all of a sudden, I did that, and, all, and I started discovering about slavery and all that stuff. I didn't know anything about it. Wow. So. wow. The girl that stars in that, the young girl. Uh, Cicely Tyson. Cicely Tyson yes. is right, right, a couple doors down from us. Yeah. Oh, really? In our neighborhood yeah. in the hills, yeah. We waved to her. She didn't know us. Is here in her little Range Rover? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Roots and hundreds of guest roots, appearances. Hundreds of guest appearances. Yes. Uh, Name three commercials um, that we would know. Parky Margarine, Butter, one Parquet. of the first commercials. There was a little Parquet. kid with glasses and a little black okay. kid with an afro. That was me, of course. Ah. <laughs> you heard to say that. See, now we didn't And it went Parquet you. and went Butter. And I went, I yeah. said, did you say, well, that, <laughs> this is called, um, Today, yeah. <laughs> well, something like happened yesterday. with this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I didn't use enough of that real gain. I guess. <laughs> um, and and um, man, which is a man, which, and I did milk okay. commercials. I mean, I've done so many commercials. I mean, it's ridiculous. Okay. I, I was, I was like the commercial king. I'd walk in yeah. and get a commercial really pretty quick. Now, how much would they have to pay you to do one of those milk commercials? <laughs> no, not that. That leaves. That looks pretty nasty. I man. know. I'm thinking. That's giving a, a different Indian window. I think. I don't know. I think we're doing how that. much are these people getting? Paid? It must be a lot of money. <laughs> I have a milk <laughs> to look that silly. <laughs> Here's a check. Just put the milk on your face. I know, I wouldn't do that. Me either. Okay, Todd um, received a vision, which we're going to actually talk about here, yeah. in 1992 after the L.A. riots right. to open a community youth center That's right. which would offer an avenue for youth to come wow. to Christ. Let's welcome them, please, to the Praise the Lord program tonight. First of all, Pastor, you're vouching for Todd now. He's like cleaned up. He's and, clean. You know, you made the news a few times, Todd. <laughs> you know something? News a few times, too. But see, you know something? What happens is God will allow the media to do what they need to do. Right. And God put me out there for a certain reason. So okay. then once he's cleaned me up like he has now, he's going to use me for his glory. Now yeah. you have a and that's the reason why. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Hello, brother. You need some validity behind what, you know, what you've been through for right. you to really listen to what you've gone through. That's okay. True. Uh, you were in the news. You were a bad boy for a while. Yeah. Pastor? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't that I was a bad boy. I was disobedient to God. Okay. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's, that's good. That's right. Now, when, I agree with that. When did you find the Lord? Well, I find the Lord several times. But okay. when was I tired of the Lord beating on me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. When did you finally Actually, was, obey? When I finally decided to obey was January of 97, when I finally decided to really obey God and do yeah. what God wanted me to do. And um, something happened to me, and I decided, you know something, I am so tired of things happening to me, I need to start living my life right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And God kept putting me in places around Christians, and I ended up in um, Atlanta, Georgia, doing a Christian play, and I wasn't even really, you know, practicing Christianity. And, like, a, a pastor walks up to me and goes, you know, God told me to tell you to stop running. Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm. oh, man, you know, and... Um, <laughs> The funny part about it, Pastor Jay has always been there, yeah. and he has always been. I'll tell you this interesting story. When I was in the county jail in um, 89, um, Pastor Johnson um, uh, had just already gotten a visit. Now, when you get a visit and, and when you're in the county jail, a flag comes up on your computer and you can't get another visit. Well, I had already gotten my visit. I didn't know that. Well, that's what happens. Okay. Well, you, I hope you never have to find this. Didn't know that. Good. Okay. So what happens is, um, Pastor Johnson all of a sudden shows up, comes in, and deputies come to me and go, you got a visit. I go, no, I just had a visit. They go, hey, you got a vision. Now get up right now. And they took me to bed. I'm like, well, who's this? And I go in there, and it was Pastor Johnson. Mm. So let me, let me yeah. add to that story. Uh, uh, I said to God when I went down to see him, first of all, we grew up together yeah. on different strokes. We used to hate each other. Really? I couldn't stand him. He was couldn't stand so did him. we. He was cool. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but but, but we, we would be on the set, and, and, and Todd would try to, you know, we he would married. always try to get me thrown off the set because I was, when I was a kid, I could sneak into any Hollywood studio.